friends welcome to physics class in this video we will discuss about work energy theorem the work energy theorem gives the relationship between work and energy work is a transfer of energy and energy is a measure of work done on the body when work is completed it manifests into energy in order to understand the work energy theorem we will first understand the terms work and energy let us suppose 10 joules of work is done on moving a car from this position to this position this work is transferred into a kinetic energy what is work work is defined as the dot product of force and the displacement so w is equal to f bar dot s bar because it is a dot product we can write this as f bar magnitude s bar magnitude cos theta this is the formula for work. Work is defined as the dot product of force and the displacement. Next, kinetic energy. The energy possessed by a body by virtue of its motion is called as kinetic energy. Its formula is K is equal to half mv square. Let us consider the force versus displacement graphs the force versus displacement graph in this case is the force applied is of constant that is the constant force is applied when the graph is a straight line parallel to displacement axis when the force is variable that is variable force acts on the body then the graph is shown like this the area under force displacement graph gives the work done on the body the area under force and displacement graph gives the work done on the body. work energy theorem Work energy theorem states that work done on a body due to external force is equal to change in its kinetic energy. That is work done is equal to change in Ke. Work done is equal to delta K that is equal to final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy. Or we can write this as W is equal to half mv square minus half mu square. Let us consider a block of mass M which is moving on a table. There is no friction on the table. That is on the friction less table the block of mass M is moving. In this case we have to consider the number of forces acting on the body. If we consider a block of mass on the table then there exist two forces first one is the gravitational force which acts downwards and a normal force which acts on the body perpendicular to it and the block moves with an external force f external here mg and normal force gets cancelled out because n is equal to mg as the normal force is equal to mg they get cancelled out there exists only external force which is responsible for the displacement of the body when there is an external force acting on the body there exists a displacement due to this external force there is a change in velocity of the body 
S, hence the body gets accelerated. As a result, there is some work done on the body. This work done is equal to change in its kinetic energy. Work energy theorem deals with the systems in which there exist a several number of forces acting on the body. Actually, work energy theorem can be derived from the Newton's second law. Work energy theorem is an integral form of Newton's second law. Let us consider a body of mass m which is moving on a table by the application of external force. Its initial velocity is u and its final velocity is v. Here the force acting is a constant force Hence, there exists a uniform acceleration Hence, by the equations of motion we can write v square minus u square is equal to 2as when the body is moving with uniform acceleration v square minus u square is equal to 2as here v is the final velocity of the body u is the initial velocity a is the acceleration of the body and s is the displacement of the body by now by multiplying both sides with m by 2 we get m by 2 into v square minus u square is equal to 2as into m by 2 here we can write m by 2 into v square minus m by 2 into u square that is equal to here 2 2 gets cancelled m a into s the next step we can write this as half m v square minus half m u square that is equal to from newton's second law f is equal to m a therefore f into s finally this is the final kinetic energy and this is the initial kinetic energy and f dot s is nothing but the work done hence the change in the kinetic energy is equal to the work done which is nothing but the work energy theorem hence the work energy theorem is proved the work energy theorem can be proved by an another method alternative method that is we know that the work done can be calculated by the dot product of force and the displacement in the next step we can write f as m a into s from equations of motion with uniform acceleration we can write v square minus u square is equal to 2 a s therefore a is equal to v square minus u square by 2 s by substituting a value in this formula we get m into v square minus u square by 2 s into s s s gets cancelled that is equal to half m v square minus half m u square which is nothing but the work done on the body due to external force work energy theorem follows the law of conservation of energy work energy theorem can be applicable to constant as well as variable forces now let us consider a variable force acting on the body of mass m we know that work done is equal to f into ds 
by the application of external force let us suppose the body has a displacement of dx then the work done dw is equal to f into dx by integrating we get a w is equal to integral of dw that is equal to integral of f into dx here it is the initial position of the block mass m and it is the final position then by integrating by applying the limits of the integration xi xf we get the total work done on the body due to the variable force now we know that from the definition of kinetic energy k is equal to half mv square by differentiating the above equation with respect to time we get half m into 2v into dv by dt here 2 2 gets cancelled m into v dv by dt here dv by dt is called as rate of change of velocity which is nothing but the acceleration so therefore ma into v dk by dt from the newton second law we can write ma as f therefore f into v is equal to dk divided by dt again v can be written as rate of change of displacement dk divided by dt by cancelling dt term we get dk is equal to f into dx now by integrating dk by applying the limits k initial to k final and integrating from x initial to x final f into dx here we get 1 into dk is equal to k by applying the limits upper and lower limits we get first upper limit minus lower limit is equal to integral of xi to xf f into dx which is nothing but the work done therefore k final minus k initial is equal to work done this the variable force which is acting on the body is responsible for the work done the work done is calculated by determining the area of the force versus displacement graph here dx is the small displacement due to the external force and the work done corresponding to this displacement is dw the work energy theorem gives only the quantitative measure of work done the work energy theorem cannot provide any information about the cause of the motion.